Hi and welcome. My name is Laura Wick, the Body Mind Coach from laurawick.com, and my mission in life is to help wellness practitioners just like you, what I like to call hands-on and heart-centered. I want to help you own your worth and build an amazing business for yourself because I know that when you are supported by your business, you are able to serve your clients even more. And today I wanted to talk with you about the difference between two types of clients. And before I do that, I want to share a story about me and my practice and when I first started. Now, I'm a massage therapist by trade. I was licensed way back in 2005, and I love this work. When I first got into massage school, I felt my heart just like shine. I knew I was on the right path. I loved that I could take my interest in anatomy and physiology, my background in biology, and combine it in a profession where I got to help people. I love helping people feel better. I love that moment on the table where somebody shifts from being in pain to that space of seeing opportunity and seeing potential and seeing that they can really listen. By listening to their bodies, they can create the life that they want. I love my work, right? But when I first started practicing, I came out of school telling myself that there are so many clients, there are so many people who need this work. And it's true, there are so many people that need body work, whether you offer massage or chiropractics, acupuncture, Reiki, structural integration, whatever it is, there are so many people out there that need your work. And I came at it with this mindset of, well, they need me, right? They need me. And a lot of times if they needed me, it meant that they couldn't afford me. And so I would discount my services. I would give them extra time. I would go above and beyond because they needed me, right? And what ended up happening is one, I started to get so exhausted and I started to get burnt out. But the other thing that started to happen is that I started creating codependent clients. Clients that I had told forever and the language that I was using towards them was that they needed me and they needed my services. And it turned into this codependent relationship where they came to me and asked for me to fix them. And it also turned into clients who would always ask me for discounts. It turned into clients who would cancel last minute, who would reschedule last minute, who uh, was really not the best type of clientele. And I was the one going above and beyond, exhausting myself for these people who needed my help and my heart was breaking for them. And it led into this really funky cycle that did not build a sustainable business. And the shift that happened for me was that I recognized, and I actually heard this said a couple weeks ago, which is why I wanted to share it today, is that I recognized that while there are so many people that need my help, the clients that were amazing, the clients I love to work with, the clients that paid me full price, that showed up on time, that took my advice, that followed through, that were ready to do the work, those clients wanted my help. And so there's a difference between clients who need you versus clients who want you and want to work with you. And what I want you to think about today is that your business is going to do perform so much better when you focus your attention on people who want your help. Because people who want your help want the results that you deliver. They know that those results benefit their lives. And because they see that, they are willing to invest in themselves, which means they are willing to invest in their services. It also means that they see you as an expert because they want your help. And so when you provide resources, when you provide advice, when you are taking that time to talk to them, they're actually going to listen and follow through. And so be really clear on the difference between who needs your help because those clients often turn into codependent clients who are looking for discounts, who are going to exhaust you versus clients who want your help because they're going to show up, they're going to do the work, and they're going to help you build a much better business. It's such a fine line, but knowing that for yourself is going to help you show up to people who are going to respect you 
honor your boundaries, pay you full price, pay you what you are worth, and it's going to help you build another a bit a better business. Now, the other thing that I just want to point out, because I know you're heart centered and I know that even if you focus your business on people who want your help, you are still going to serve the people who need you. I have no doubt about that. But when you focus on building your business with people who want to work with you, who want to pay you full price, who respect you, value you, you can start to structure and bring in different pieces into your business or different pieces into your, into your life where you're giving back to people who need you. A great example of this is volunteering, right? If you have a business filled with amazing people who want to pay you, guess what? You have the resources to, to either invest or to donate to nonprofits. You have probably a little bit more time freedom where you can actually volunteer and work with the people who need your help. And I have a great, uh, amazing client who she actually sets aside a three visits a month for people who need her help but can't afford it. But once those three sessions are filled and the rest are filled with people who are paying full prices, you know, those three people get her assistance. She feels good about doing it, but it doesn't overtake her practice and it doesn't overtake her life. So when you build a business and you fill it with people who want to work with you, you actually have a greater capacity to serve people who need you, but in a different way that doesn't drag you down in your business. So I hope you find this helpful. And what I want you to do is in the comments below, I want you to share with me either the insights that came up for this. You're probably sitting there thinking, oh my goodness, that client is such a needy client and they drive me crazy right? Or, oh my goodness, I have these amazing clients who want to work with me and I'm not structuring my business to serve them best. So what I want you to do is really define the difference between clients who need you and clients that want you, right? Get clear on that below. Tell me what comes up for you. I want to hear from you. I want to talk to you. I love the discussions in these comments below. So thank you again and be very, very clear of who the difference between who needs you and wants you because a business built of people who want you will support you and you will win and your clients will win too. All right. Have a good one. And remember you are worth it. Have a good one. Bye.